Hello everyone, Sarcasm here, and yeah, welcome back to Snack React. Today I have a couple more items from uh, my Seattle Wajimaya trip. From, uh, yeah, it was in October 2021. So yeah, I have four more items for you today. So first off, I have, let's see now what brand is it? B plus orange flavored bread. So yeah, it's another flavored bread product. I, I actually like these. And I, I've, I've never seen the orange flavor before. So I figured, hey, it's different. I haven't had this one before. So yeah, let's try it out. Yeah, decent size, nice and fluffy. Ooh, well, yeah, that... Uh, it has your standard bread smell. But there's also a hint of orange in there as well, which, hey, um, eh. better smell representation on this one than the usual ones. So, yeah, smells good and hopefully tastes good, too. Uh, nice and so it's uh, nice and soft inside. Very nice. Yeah, it's like very light and fluffy. Okay, I got a bit of the orange there. That's nice. But yeah, it's much like with the smell, the flavor is more uh, faint than outstanding. Or by, by that, I mean, like, it, it's subtle flavoring. But still, very nice. Okay, that was good. Next up, another Laban Bakery item. This time it is a custard bun. This one's pretty big. Not quite as fluffy as the orange bread, but it is a different brand and all. So yeah, custard. I like custard. I'm not sure how I, I'd rate it between custard and red bean paste, though. Like, pretty close, though. Yeah. Okay, standard bread smell, nothing special there. Okay, first bite. Didn't get too far into the custard. Ah, uh, there we go. There it's custard. Mmm. That is very nice. Nice and sweet. I'd say I put the uh, custard like right next to red bean paste. Like they're both pretty good, but like they each have a different type of a different type of flavor profile. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so far so good. Two great items out of the way. Next up, I have. Uh, it's from Tarami. It is a apple jelly dessert. So yeah, a uh, jelly 
treat. Haven't, haven't really got, haven't really picked these up before. But uh, yeah, hopefully it's good. I need to take the uh, cap off. Okay, decent apple fl not flavor, smell, apple, f apple smell. It has a little straw there. Yeah, it's just like uh, sipping jello through a straw. A bit weird, but actually decently tasty. This isn't as sugary as the other snacks, but the flavoring is pretty good. I'll finish that off in a moment. Yeah, not bad. Not quite as good as the others, but still pretty decent. And finally, the drink for today's episode. I have Gabu Nami X Freedom Energy. So yeah, an energy drink. Uh, right here on the front it says, Unleashed from cramped and mundane everyday life towards an... Towards to an unknown self. That's by uh, Poca Sapporo. Oh, five servings in this. Okay. It contains milk and soybean. Huh. That's different. Anyway, it's uh, green. I have no idea what type of flavor it's supposed to be. Probably just tastes like an energy drink, but who knows. Oh yeah, that is energy drink. Wow. It's funny that you can smell something and just be like, oh yeah, that's an energy drink. <laughs> it's like, that, that is the smell of energy drink. Okay, so... Kind of know what to expect from this, but uh, time to find out the flavor. The flavor is. energy drink like i wasn't giving like any particularly distinct flavors in there just like the uh it just takes tastes just like a plain energy drink which is kind of a flavor into itself nothing horrible about that just uh doesn't really stand out which is kind of unfortunate. So, time for the ratings. <clears throat> for the orange bread, that one is going to get a... Uh, 7 out of 10. Pretty good. Yeah, it was decent, nice and fl like nice and soft bread. Orange flavor was yeah, it was okay. Could have been be a bit better. For the custard bread, that one gets a nine out of ten. Very sweet and tasty, and just overall like great flavoring. For the apple jelly drink, or apple jelly, whatever, that one gets 
a 6 out of 10. Not bad, but eh, it's a little weird. It's like, like I said, it's just like jello in a uh, that you're sucking through a straw. But yeah, it's still pretty good for the price. And the X Freedom Energy. Uh, I, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Like, it's not horrible, but I can just get, a, uh, I don't know, a monster or a rock star and get the same effect. So, yeah, not, it didn't really do anything special. So that's why it's so low. Anyway, that's it for today's for this week's episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for things you want me to try out, please let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, have a good week and take care. See ya.